the groups. Don't break off. Yeah, with Kim. All right. What you're gonna do? You're gonna skip together to the center circle. Can everyone see the little blue triangles in the center circle? Yep. I need you to skip as fast as you can. Grab one triangle, and once your group has it, I want you guys to walk backwards together to this white board. On those blue triangles on the back, there's a math problem. When you guys get back, you're gonna have to solve it and match it with the number. And when you guys put it together, it's gonna be the flag of a country, okay? So on the count of three, you guys are gonna skip, grab one, go backwards, solve the math problem, and get yeah. down the board, okay? Your mark set, go! I've never seen somebody do that. Skipping back. <laughs> six, 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 six. Got it. How many people did you take? Come on, Eric! Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Good job, everybody. All right. Can anyone tell me what flag this is? Scotland. Scotland. Very good. And this is the cross of St. Andrews. All right. Can anyone tell me the, ne the official animal of Scotland? Rock this monster. No, <laughs> good, good guess though, Matt. I'm gonna say, uh... Sheep. The sheep. No, it's actually the unicorn. Surprise. Get out of here. That's yeah. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I talk about Scotland today is because we're gonna continue on our Shinty unit. Shinty came from Scotland a long, long time ago, and it's a really fun game that we worked on last class, and today we're gonna continue with that do some passing, shooting, and even get into small games, okay? Before we get into that, I'm just going to go over some rules real quick. Number one is safety. We're working with sticks today, a lot of equipment, so keep your space and watch uh, where you're hitting the balls. Number two is freeze at the whistle. This is my signal of attention. So if you hear the whistle, hold your equipment, eyes on me. And number three is respect. Again, we're using a lot of equipment, so respect the equipment, the gym, and your classmates, okay? Um, another rule today is when you're using the sticks, you cannot raise the stick above knee level, okay? I don't want anyone getting hit in the face. So on your, when you're coming back, don't let the stick go above your knee, and your follow through, don't let it go above the knee, okay? Okay. You guys step over here. The cues for passing and shooting. Number one is eye on the ball, okay? You guys want to look at the ball and watch the stick hit the ball, okay? Number two is knees bent. You want to be in an athletic stance at all times so you're ready to move left or right. And number three is the follow through. Again, today, it's just a shortened follow through so it doesn't go above knee level, all right? So... So when you're passing, and we're just look over here, you want your knees bent, eyes on the ball, and today we're just going to be kind of stationary to start off. And uh, don't let the knee go, or don't let the stick go above the knee level, all right? So you guys are just going to follow through, and uh, when your partner gets it, they're going to pass it back to you, and we're going to just work on that for a little warm up. So I need you guys in pairs, and you're going to go to a set of cones. When you get there, you're going to put on a penny, and that's going to be your color for today. What I want is one person to be on the line of the cones and one person to be about 10 steps out. And I, got, I want you guys just to work on simple passing back and forth, okay? And then we're going to work into one-touch passes. Any questions on that? No. No? All right, so break off. Go put on a penny. Grab your equipment. And when you're ready, I'm going to throw you guys a ball, okay?
Good try, Eric.
One. Thank you all for cooperating today and having a good time. And I'll see you next class. Thanks. Woo! Woo!